Hello Virgo. Thank you very much for tuning into your general read. For the main part, I'm doing the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For the support of Oracle Cards, Wisdom of the House of Night. On the back here it says who it's by, but if you look up the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle Cards online, you should easily find them. I do believe Amazon still sells them. All right. Already shuffled. Virgo. Okay, so what I do see here is a lot of good cards. Your ending is looking a little bit shrouded in mystery. All those cards are face down. They're all oracle cards too, um, which is just making me wonder where are we going with this. So what you're starting off with is the Four of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. I feel a cooperative effort here. You seem to be getting along with people quite well, making decisions, working with other people to make these decisions. Not only like what's going to work for you, but it's almost like who can you count on to help you with the situation? And it's like, yeah, there's probably a way you'd prefer the situation to work out, but the fact that everybody's agreeing to you, that's kind of symbolizing everybody's invested. So you're more happy that everybody's invested and we're all deciding together. That is how that's feeling. So it's kind of like you're not worried about your own personal ideal solutions, if that makes sense. Like, what you would originally want is not really as, as important to you at this point. The fact that everybody's working together, everybody's committing to this, that makes you feel a lot better because it's kind of be like a divided effort. Everybody's involved. Everybody's invested. So I feel like making decisions with other people is really the fact that other people are putting in their effort. That's what you want, and you're happy with that. And everybody's getting along. The Sun card here is telling me like it's all going through the best it could um, again I keep getting that it's not about what you want personally and you're not even worried about that it's people are coming together and agreeing together and moving forward together and it's just making you feel like well it's not all on my shoulders because we're moving forward as a unit as a you know for some of you it is family but whatever it is you're moving forward together and that's all you want you really don't seem to care about personal goals in this sense like I want this or I want that it's not really about that is what I'm getting so everything is good here now as we keep going forward I feel like other people are are, are are fighting to keep it that way fighting to keep everybody involved moving forward as a unit I feel like you're a part of the same feeling, but other people are doing the same thing, kind of like it's not about personal goals, it's about moving forward together and sticking with what you said you'd do. It's just, it's a very unified effort. Whatever it is, I feel people are just not, not so um, rabid about their own, what they want, what they want. It's not seeming to be like that. And people are fighting to stay in that line. People realize it's working out best by going that way, the situation will work out the best by just staying in that line. Everybody gets along by just staying in that line. And I don't see you really leading that effort, but I see you like promoting it and other people agreeing that that's the best way to go right now. Just putting personal goals aside, unified effort, unified effort. And people are fighting to stay in that. Like I feel like there's some people in this situation that would naturally veer off on their own and like, I want, or this would be better, or that would be better. But they're, they're resisting that. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Wands. They're staying in line with everybody else and moving it together. And I'm getting you loving this. You've got the Six of Wands. You're like, yeah, that's the way this should go. <laughs> I feel your energy is like, yeah, that's how this should go. We should work together as a unit. Everybody gets their fair share. Everything's working out. It's not about personal goals. It's about working forward together. You seem quite happy with this. And I'm getting here... The Queen of Swords comes out in the center, which is very much about... See, she can be very detached in the sense of, like, it's not about, you know, this is what you want, that is what you want. Cold, hard truth. She kind of, in this situation, she does remind me of the Justice card with that sword, the way she's hard holding it. Kind of like, you know, we got we to gotta do what's right, we got to look at the facts. 
and everybody seems to be also working together still, you know, this is what's right, this is how we've been going, we're staying with the plan. All right, so it seems like we hit this part, and that's where all the hidden things come forward. Everybody's staying together still, staying together. It's it's very, like, nobody's putting forth, like, their emotional spin on it, is what I'm getting. It's very just, this is what it is, this is how we're going, this is what we've done so far. It seems very much on the level here. Okay. So I'm going to flip over all these cards at once, and we're going to see what we're going into. Okay. Now, we're going to do the last one, because I'm just going to... Okay. Now, your, your card is very supporting to your energy. It's the High Priestess of Earth. And it's going into the situation, like, the energy you're lending in is focus. So, not shockingly, Virgo, very dependable, doing what they said they were going to do, holding up to the bargain keeping involved, you know, for example, if you said next Tuesday you're going to go get get a turkey and you're going to start preparing it so you can drop it off to somebody else because that's what the, that's what they need, then you're going to, next Tuesday comes around, you're going to get that turkey, you're going to do what you need to do with it, and you're going to drop it off as you said you needed to. You're, what you said you're going to do, you're going to do it. That's what I'm getting with the high priestess of earth for you. You said you were going to do these things, that's what you're doing, and that's what's going to happen. That's also, though, what you're making provisions for on that day. You got focus here. You're like, yeah, that's what I'm doing that day. So I'm going to make sure I have what I need together. I'm going to make sure I have the time to do it, and I'm going to have make sure that I have the, the mode to get it there. And it, however it needs to get there, I will make sure it gets there. You're planning this ahead. Time is set aside. Money is set aside. You know, modes of transportation are all put in place. You have everything where it needs to go. you got focus here. You've got the focus to get this going, and you're also communicating is what I'm also getting in the sense of, like, you're not only making sure your yours gets done. You, I see you kind of feeling it out and, like, staying in touch with other people. Like, are you on point? Are you on schedule? Do you need help? I'm feeling that energy for you. Is this going okay? Do you need help making this happen? So you're, you're lending in that energy. You are promoting this because I do feel communication coming for you from you. Um, and coming back to you, but I feel like you're promoting it. This is working well. I like how this energy is. I feel like you're stabilizing it. Not only your own piece, but I feel like you're inspiring others or helping others stay in line. I don't see you nagging. I see you offering help, and I don't see a lot of people taking advantage of it, but I do see people, you know, feeling a reminder or keeping them, it's keeping them on schedule. By you, you know, how you're doing, do you need help? By you doing that, you're keeping other people on schedule. Um, and you're not nagging doing it. You're just saying, oh, I just wanted to see if you needed help. And, oh, I'm good, but thank you. And it's reminding them, oh, I got to do that. <laughs> I got to make sure I get this done on that time. So that's working very well. Um, now, the, I'm seeing, like, this is what's happening on the other side. The other people you're dealing with, this is good. Um, but the, the fact that you got the card complicated here is, like, there's a lot going on is what I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting some upset emotion here, kind of like people trying to keep together. The High Priestess of Water, as far as I'm concerned, and the way I connect with it in astrology sense, water and earth go very well together. Um, they seem to get along, except when they're opposites, but for the most part, they seem to be very conducive with each other. And, but I'm getting complicated. I am getting some upset emotion here. Like People are trying to keep together. People are trying to stay on point. I'm feeling like some people want to disconnect, but... You're helping them stay on point. Um, I'm getting kind of like a rundown or a just wanting to escape for a while feel. With the complicated here, something seems to be really going on. Something seems to be a little bit out of sorts and a little bit upset. Um, so other things might be going on here that you're not aware of. But I feel like you touching base is actually stabilizing this. These, this complicated thing, I feel like there's something out of balance here. But you just communicating... Do you need help? I don't really feel like the most... I don't feel like most of you are going to have that taken advantage of in the sense of, like, them saying, yeah, could you do this for me? Yeah, could you do that for me? I don't feel that. I do feel like it's it's centering the person or people that you're talking to, keeping them online, and it feels to... It's like stabilizing things a little bit. Maybe just temporary for most of them. 
but it is stabilizing things that they're able to keep things in line. By keeping this in line, it makes them feel better. It actually takes some stress out of whatever's complicated here because I feel like this is one of the things they're trying to juggle. You helping them stay in line with that is making things better. Now, um, I don't see problems here. I do see wishing at the end here, though, because I feel like you're looking at the situation and you're knowing that this the situation is starting to get a little bit labored, a little bit heavy is what I'm feeling. Not so bad that it's like becoming a, you know, a, a very cumbersome thing. But I do feel like um, it's becoming monotonous for other people. I don't see you having a problem with it. Even you were thinking it's becoming monotonous, but you're you're like, well, if it is, if that's what it has to be, then that's what it has to be. You seem to be more accepting of it. Other people around this are kind of like, you know, this is getting to be a bit much. I'd like this to be done. Um, or they want to take a break from it, something like that. Because the wishing is make me, making me feel like there's a moment coming up where people are kind of starting to negotiate. Can we trade responsibilities and stuff like that? Can you do this for a while and I'll do that for a while? Be careful with that is what I'm getting because I feel people want to disconnect for a while. People want to kind of like take a break. And I am I just feel like acknowledging that energy might be for the best. Um, I'm actually getting that, you know, stepping away or taking a break is not the best idea. But... For example, if you have five people and everybody's doing a piece on their own, you might want to double up every now and then and like two of you do two things, but you both do it together. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like switch around, doubling up who you're doubling up with, you know, something like that. Um, or maybe like if there's five things like have, you know, I don't know, finding a different way to like make it easier just so you can have a more of a community effort here. Because I feel like if you're working together on something, it just may make it feel better. Um, and it might just putting a, put a little bit more, like a more of a social connection here, more feeling like there's somebody there with you. I know that can be a little dicey, but because I'm feeling people want to disconnect. And they're saying to acknowledge it, a break is not a good idea at this point. But what I am getting with the wishing is like, if it's like doubling up and like, Everybody had a piece, and there's five people with five different things. If you double up and you help each other do each other's things, you know, you, you, you each hold your, up your piece of the bargain. But I feel like that could lessen the stress and bring some more joy into it. By ha and they switch up who you work with here and there. I just feel like that could really make a difference. I hope I'm saying that right, because I think I am. You know what I mean? I think that's making sense. Because that will actually relieve some stress. You're not technically doing any less but I feel like working together with somebody, it just brings more happiness. It's just kind of looking forward to hanging out. It's almost like, you know, if you got to write out cards for whatever reason, um, and then somebody else has to, like, you know, work on some other paperwork. If you get together and you help them do half of their paperwork, they, have, they help you do half the cards, and maybe you're enjoying a meal at the same time while you're doing this, you can have some fun with some food and then get things done, you know, and then it just takes off the stress. And I feel like this is, they're saying that's what you need here. Just to release some of the stress a little bit, but keep going. Um, and it'll be okay. All right, I think we got the message there. I just feel like I'm dragging it out, so I apologize for that. But I think we're good. All right, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.